Hi everyone, I'm Josh and welcome to Josh Wright Piano TV. Today's episode is a little bit out of the ordinary, but someone had asked me for more sight reading resources. And I was teaching a lesson about a month ago and one of my students brought to me this book and it is wonderful. So I reached out to the publisher who is also a very well-known YouTube piano teacher, Corey Hall, also known as Box Scholar. And I was telling him how much I enjoyed this and if I could promote this on my channel. And he said, yes, of course. He recently hit 100,000 subscribers, so huge congratulations to you, Corey. But for any of you wanting probably the best sight reading resource that I have seen, along with Piano Marvel, which is a fun online MIDI-based sight reading software, this is called Sight Reading and Harmony. And good news is that within Piano Marvel, they now have this loaded into their program. So I wanted to show you why this is so great. Not only does he go over scales and chords and inversions and various chord progressions to teach you all about how harmony works at the piano, but he has meticulously gone through 150 chorale excerpts and leveled them in five different gradations of difficulty. I can't even imagine how long this took. I would never undertake a project like this. So Corey, hats off to you for all of your hard work here. It's, it's unbelievably good. And this will help all of you with your sight reading. I am not being paid for this. Um, I reached out to Corey on my own. I have no financial gain whatsoever recommending this book to you guys. I really am just super impressed with this book and want to get great music like this out there. So. Let's just take the first example. So this is grades one through two. And you could go through all 150 of these and just do that grades one through two. It's, a, it's an approximate level that he's gone through, just two voices. The next one, he adds a little bit more complexity with some eighth notes. So this is grades three through four. Grades five through six, he adds a third voice. Okay. Grades seven through eight, he adds a fourth voice and some of the harmonies become a little bit more complex. Grades nine through 10 is the actual Corel excerpt. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, sight reading Bach is very complex, especially chorales, because each of the voices is moving. It's not like a simple Mozart texture. that might have a very patterned left hand and then you're mostly just reading one voice up top. Each of these voices is moving independent of each other in beautiful polyphony, but this book, the way he has laid this out, allows for so many good sight reading opportunities because you could say, okay, I'm currently at level one through two. Those are still kind of hard for me, but I'm gonna push myself to three and four this week. Or, okay, I'm pretty good at five through six, but man, when I get down to levels nine through 10, I really struggle. So what I'm gonna do is for the first 20 exercises, I'm gonna do five through six. And then for the next 20, I'll do seven through eight. And then for the final 110, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do grades nine through 10. So you can gradually work up with standard repertoire. Another thing that I wanna talk about is the fact that adults often feel very shameful when you're going back to little kids method books. You know. Old MacDonald Had a Farm is not the most enjoyable thing to play when you're 40 years old. But this, you can get into standard repertoire in a simplified way that still sounds extremely dignified and beautiful and work your way up to those more advanced levels. When I asked Corey about promoting this, he said, I'd like to offer your audience a coupon code discount. So if you click on the link in the description below, there will also be a coupon code that you can use for a discount on these products. Thank you again, Corey, 
for blessing the lives of so many people by making this great resource that I'm sure took years of work. If any of you have any questions for me or future video topics you'd like me to cover, my email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. Have a great week. Good luck in your practice sessions.